Well, I think it's working. We'll see. <clears throat> hey, Frank. That's awesome, Kathy. That's actually encouraging. Can you guys hear me? Uh-oh, it's doing it again. I've, it's, it's doing this weird thing where uh, I've got like, uh, I'd never noticed it before, but in the bottom right corner, the OBS is a, a colored thing and it keeps changing colors because of the, the frame rate. Uh, or the the kilobytes per second, and it goes up and down, and oh, there it just dropped to red. I've not, I've never seen that before. Uh, maybe it's been doing that all along. I don't know, but let me know if uh, if it's working. Hopefully, it will keep working. Uh, sorry, you know, I see it's dropping down. I, we'll see what the. Yeah, it looks choppy. So something's happening. Uh, I think that my internet is not working today. I've got, um, I looked at the box, everything's hooked right. Everything's uh, green light there. It's, I think, the internet as a whole. Yep, short buffers. Yeah, but I can see it down there now. There's, there's a little changing color icon at the bottom corner of OBS that I've never noticed before, and it's like dropping down. Yep, I can see that it's buffering. Yeah, that's what's happening. So it's never been red before. It's always just green. I've never noticed it. Um, so that tells me that the internet is not happening today. Uh, let me do the spectrum test again, but I'm pretty sure that wherever I am, it's not your computers, it's mine, or my on my side of the the thing. And see, my download speeds are okay, but it's the upload speed that's important. I hate this. Pepper, I may get a day off whether I want one or not. I don't see Pepper back on. Everybody, so many people are back on it, but it's it's buffering there. Yeah, it's definitely a squirrel, but it's like, you know, computers are tools. Yep, not working. Come on. Sorry, this is going to have to. Um, yeah, it shows. I see buffering on your end. The audio is fine. Weird. Well, hopefully you won't hear me cuss. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, the thing is, I think of computers as being tools, but a hammer, it's like a hammer never stops working. And so, for, oh yeah, see, now my, yeah. <sighs> well, it says I've got viewers. Um, yeah, not, not too many people on mine, but it is not. So now it says excellent connection. Well, we'll see. Um, I may try and bypass OBS because it's. It seems to be OBS is having trouble making a connection to um, to the. Uh, Yeah, the audio is continuing, but the, okay. Yeah, because I really want to talk about the difference between 3, 4, and 6, 8. 
um, and then give you some new strumming groups potentially. Um, but I really wanted to kind of work on this. So it's frustrating that, um, yeah, it's, it's weird. I mean, I, I, I'm shocked at anybody's online if it's not working. I mean, I've got a red, it says the connection, it's not enough kilobytes here um, per second. So that tells me, yet yeah, people are logging on. But I see nothing in this window. This window is dead, dead, dead. It says excellent connection. Yeah, fudge. Yeah, I it mine's uh it's Spectrum and I've got it too. I checked it. Um and uh I can check it again, but it's I just it seems to be okay. It may be something that OBS is doing. Um and so if I because I'm checking the spectrum right now, I'm checking the spectrum uh Download speeds like 130, 140 megabytes per second. And the upload speeds got down to like 20, or I mean, sorry, 2.9 or something, uh, which is really low. Yeah, see, it's low. Two, three, three, five. This is, it's almost too low to do this. I mean, I've been able to do it at three, five, three, four, but normally I like to see it in the four to five to six range. So I'm wondering if there's just a million people on the internet right now. Uh, oh, what did Hook say? Uh, -dum -bum -bum. Oh. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Oh my goodness. Well, okay, here you can do this. You can slap on your leg like this, okay? Because I want to talk about the 6-8 the thing. This video cannot stay up there, though. This is not, I'm not going to let this video stay up there. Uh, it's so frustrating. Um, and I don't know if you can hear me because now it's giving me the error thing again. Just ridiculous. But obviously audio doesn't take as much as, uh, okay, you never hear a break in the audio. Well, that's good. That's, that is weird though. I would think they'd kind of be, you know, saddled together. Um, so six, eight and three, four, both have six eighth notes in them. Both have technically three quarter notes. Six eight, you would you could count um, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, and then three four would be count. You could count as one and two and three and one and two and three and. And so, what I'd like to do is I would, I'd like you to be able to go back and forth between the two. It's saying excellent connection. I've got 29 concurrent viewers. I don't know what you're watching. I don't know if you can see any of this. I'm so sorry. I hate but when things bug out like this. Um, so uh, um, if, I would love for you to be able to do, alternate a measure of 6-8 to 3-4. Not a particularly practical thing, but it'll help you hear the difference between 6-8 and 3-4. So here's 6-8. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, now I think I want to live in America. Da, 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 da. Remember that uh, from West Side Story? That's alternating six eight and three four, which is freaking brilliant. I want to live in America. Da, 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 da. One two three 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 one. That's an awesome. Okay, the audio is okay. Am I back? Really? No. No, it's still red on the OBS. I can't believe that it would be back. Um, I'm, so there's, there's a lot of lag uh, between my two screens. So I can see what you're seeing on my, um, in, the, in the Chrome window. Um, <laughs> yeah, just talk. So, um, but of course, we're going to try this a lot slower. But if you can go get the 6 8 feel, so it'd be. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, and uh, two, and uh, three. You can do that with me. It's weird. I guess that's not going to, that window's not going to, I don't know if it'll change. But. Okay, so this is, I can, I can 
verify that I'm wearing pants. One, one and uh, two and uh, three and one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and. Okay, and then three, four would be counted. One and two and three and one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Now, if I did eight, uh, eighth notes without any accents, it would sound like this. Okay, so they're both the same eighth notes, same speed. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Hand jive is freezing, yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So my goal would be for you to be able to count that or feel that. It would be cool if you could. It's one, two, three, two, two, three. Uh, or you could do one and, oops, and, uh, I know how to spell. And uh, two and, uh, one and two and three and one and uh mm, let's see one and uh two and uh, one and two and three um how would that sound on the guitar how would it well for one thing the eighth notes would be all It's kind of a fun. It's kind of a fun variation on the the six eight thing. Because um, I was doing some research, um, I was looking up. You can you can Google songs in six eight, and Iris is in six eight uh, by uh, Goo Goo Dolls. It does kind of have a prog feel to it. I mean, more common would be something like in seven one two three. Let's see one two one two one two three one two one two one two. One two one two three one two one two one two three. That would be seven eight. <laughs> yeah right. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Like I said, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that it's just going to look like this, and so I really don't know if I can leave this video up. Um, I deleted the one I started at eleven o'clock because I don't want people to log on to that thinking that that's the one. Because I it was because the other day when that happened, I I kept having issues starting for some reason. And I deleted, or I didn't delete it. And I noticed that one, that video that had me frozen the entire time kept getting views. And I was like, well, I don't want people to watch that. That's like, that's just going to make them mad and unsubscribe or something. So I, uh, I deleted that and then I deleted, and that's why I had to, oh no, that was a different reason uh, why I re-upped that one. That one doesn't show up in the live stream. I edited out the front two minutes of it or something because the sound, something was jacked up on it, I forget. Um, uh, if you need a 12 minute song with four chords, yeah. Uh, Wreck of Edmund Fitzgerald, is that also, is that in three, four though? That might be in three, four. Uh, but it could be in six, eight. Um, so I, like I said, I looked it up, so, uh, songs in six, eight, just to give you an example. Um, uh, Let's see, Queen, We Are the Champions. House of the Rising Sun, we talked about that yesterday. Yesterday, Metallica, Nothing Else Matters. Um, Seal, Kiss from Rose, which is a cool song back in from the late 80s, I guess. Um, what is, yeah. Norwegian Wood, we talked about that one. Um, Google Dow's Iris. Uh, oh, uh, Radiohead. Uh, Subterranean's Homesick Alien, but I think Radiohead has a lot. And Hallelujah by Buckley is also 6 8. I don't know if that. Oh, yeah, that, that one, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
man, they have a lot of one. Uh, Bowie, f- Five Years by Bowie. Um, but I'm sure you could find a huge list of songs in 6-8. And there's a lot of songs that weren't hits that are in 6-8. Um, but uh, there's, let's see. Oh, there's actually a Spotify playlist. That's This is old, from 2014. Spotify around 2014? I'm trying to see if any of these songs I know. <laughs> there's a lot of songs. Wings, Call Me Back Again. Uh, call it Stormy Monday, Albert King. Yeah, I bet you I would count Stormy Monday in 12, a 12 8 song. But it is, you know, call me Stormy Monday. Boom, 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 boom. But you could count that. It's a matter of whether you want to count it in four or count it in two. If it's in six, eight, it's going to be an overarching two feel. If it's in, um, if it's in 12 8, it's going to have an overarching four feel. Um, uh, oh yeah, I, oh, oh, that's right, Gary, I saw your, that's right, I did see that, yep. Yeah, again, I'm really sorry about the buffering thing, I do not know what's going on. So I'm kind of, we're doing an audio <laughs> lesson, I'm on the radio now, I guess. Um, but what I want, what you can do is, we're, we're, this pattern... One and uh, two and uh, one and two and three and one and uh, two is placing um, six eight bar next to three three four bar, so one bar of each. Um, and it, you know, I've heard it used. Like I said, it was in uh, the the song. I want I want to be in America. Much faster tempo than what I was doing. It's pretty quick. Um, it's a great, it's a great scene in the in the in the movie. I know the movie, which is based on the musical. So I guess it's basically the musical, isn't it? Sorry, I'm taking a sip. I didn't touch my face, but I'm taking a sip anyway. Um, let's see. Yeah, Gary Schultz, it's uh, Milwaukee, uh, yeah, the Lake Michigan, right? The wreck of the Edward, uh, Edmund Fitzgerald is uh, based on Lake Michigan, is what happened on Lake Michigan, I think. Video killed the radio star, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, well, there's a reason for that, because the radio star had a face like a dog. Uh, So let's see. The, um, you know, if you own a 12 string, you spend half your time tuning it and half your time playing out of tune, right? I could tell some uh, musician jokes. Uh, let's see, I try to come up with a musician joke here. Uh, I think one I didn't haven't told you yet. I mean, I like the one. <laughs> I, I was on a podcast with a drummer friend of mine, and he I had to, he had he said make sure you have a joke joke ready because you have to tell a joke at the beginning. And I went okay, so I told him my drummer joke about the uh, uh, how do you tell if the stage is level? Drool comes out of both sides of the drummer's mouth. Oh, it was Lake Superior. Okay. Eight just sounds good on 12 string, doesn't it? Um, 
because I can kind of do that six eight three four feel within a six eight feel. Um, one two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two three four five. Six. Yeah, it's weird. I can actually sub subdivide a, a bar of six eight to sound like a bar of six eight and a bar of three four too. It's interesting. Um, all right. Well, I'm still buffering. Okay. Well, thank you, Dave, for letting me know. I appreciate it. It's it's still flashing red here on my OBS software. So for whatever reason, the two are not communicating very well. And it shows me buffering here. Um, I should edit the, <laughs> the title and say buffering edition. <laughs> so... Um, Put on the uh, the drums here. Ah, why would it do that? Just jump up all the way volume wise. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Here's a snare hit on the big two. One, two, kick, snare. One, two. Well, you know, if it's still buffering, it doesn't mean you can't see these. In fact, I'll go, even if, you know, even if it freezes, it maybe it'll freeze on these images. So these are the, the ones I wanted to show you today. So the pattern on the bottom left hand corner on this page is two, three, four, five, six. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. One, two, and, and two, two, and, and one, and two, two, and, and one, two, and. Thanks, Leo. It's interesting on a 12 string when you mute, you really have to, like you can't just reach your thumb over and mute the bottom string because then you're still gonna have another string in that. So you have to mute two strings with your thumb when you're playing like an A chord. With the C chord, same thing. you're seeing every 30th frame. Oh my gosh. So that means like two frames per second. Oh yeah, it's totally, it's down and over here, it's practically down to nothing. Yeah, it's. Now it says they're excellent condition on, on the YouTube site, but my OBS is saying a different thing. So that, but if you have sound, this is the sound of that. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. But, have to get that pattern down like the second one on this page the basic one the non syncopated remember because the syncopation if there's two ups in a row that's a technically what I'd call a syncopated pattern um, and what that that it's a it's more difficult to play obviously um, it's so weird because YouTube's saying excellent connection 
I'm not seeing it. Oh, the strum patterns are blurry. Dang it. Ugh. That stinks. <laughs> yeah, 58 out of 59 is not bad. I know, my streak has come to an end. Contact the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah, I'm like, it, it, it. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the sound is in 6A, but the video is zero out of 10. <laughs> You're saying one out of zero, but yeah. I mean, I would, you know, if, you're, if you've been messing around at all with writing, I would definitely try to write, um, you know, something in 6-8 just for fun. And then the other thing you can do, too, is uh, you can sometimes make songs work in 6-8. Uh, like I said, when we, like, if I did that, third pattern on the bottom here. If I just played the down on one and the up on the end of two on those beats, then it would sound like a four, four pattern, right? That's a good idea, Frank. Thank you. Right? I don't know. I don't think it's Google. Um, I mean, it might be, but I mean, I'm getting notifications on my OBS that it's dropping frames. Like 68% of the frames are dropping. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't think there's anything I can do here in settings to change anything. Um, at this point, not not while I'm actually streaming. If I maybe if I uh, um, stop, check one two one two, no data. Excellent condition. It says, or excellent excellent connection. It says at YouTube. So it, yeah, that's that doesn't make sense because it's really freezing there. I see the spinning. I don't have an uh, Andrew. I don't have. A wise board. Uh, you're not Andrew Jed, are you? Um, yeah, I'm actually. I, I will be getting a wise board this year. Not an actual wise board. That's one of the ones. Um, uh, that's one of the instruments uh, that one, one of the one of the opportunities that came my way that I kicked myself over. The same place I bought my uh, Fender lap steel from. Um, uh, he, I, I, he had this weird instrument I'd never seen before. I touched my face. So everybody take a, <laughs> Andrew, nobody. Okay. No worries, Andrew. You don't need that. <laughs> That's just the kind of question Andrew Jed would have asked me. Andrew Jed's a, um, a guitar player as well. Um, and, uh, I think he lives in South Africa right now, but, um, the, uh, I went into the store and there was this weird instrument. I'm like, what the heck is that thing? And he, and my friend Scott said, uh, oh, yeah, that's you put, put that on your lap and you play it like a lap steel. And I went, oh, that's cool. And I, I played I played around with it a little bit. It sounded great. It was beautiful and everything. It was like, why, why, Wizen, Wizen, what, Wizen, what's, what, Wizenborn? What the heck is that? Yeah, it's a Wizenborn. And I, I got home and I was, I got to thinking, I just, you know, the, the store is only a couple miles from my house. And I went, you know, like after in the afternoon, I I, I went. Ah, I should probably go back and get that. And I went back. I'll tell you if I touch my face. I promise. Uh, I'm pretty good about that. I went back to the store and it was gone. And it was literally like two hours. Uh, it was two hours from the time that I, um, you know, saw the uh, saw saw the instrument and played it and went back to buy it and it was gone. 
I could just kick myself because it, it was only $300. <laughs> so if I go to Reverb right now and look up Weisenborn, because back then it just was, you know, it was far enough back that people didn't really, I don't even know if eBay was a thing back then. I can't remember. Um, Weizen, no. I mean, an actual Weizenborn. So I'm going to be getting one from Gold Tone. That's basically a Gold Tone slide. You know, totally fine. Here's one for $419. I'm going to get one of those. But an actual Weizenborn. Uh, we'll see if there anybody actually has one. Michael Dunn Weizenborn, which is a, a guy that makes copies of them. He's selling for $3,000. Here's a Baritone Rayco, you know, for $5,000. It's crazy. For, you know, really find a, a real one. They're pretty stinking rare, obviously. Um, let's see, can I sort by price? Oh, yeah, no. Uh, high to low. Okay, see what, I mean, like I said, I not that I would have sold it. Although, who knows? Circa 1925 Hawaiian steel. It has Weizenborn here in parentheses, which tells me it probably isn't a Weizenborn. Um, but it's in excellent condition for 3100 so that's not bad for 1925. Um, Kona Style 3, Hawaiian steel guitar. Yeah, I mean, but Weizenborns are really cool. Um, uh, I don't have one, but you know, you can basically kind of get the Weizenborn sound by just uh, playing a, um, an acoustic guitar, on, you know, with a slide. Uh, hold on a second. 34 people watch. What are you watching? I mean, I'm like, holy cow. So like, if, okay, I'm gonna change guitars, guys. Um, and, and this slide is a little heavy. Um, I think I have a, this, this slide might work a little bit better, but. Yeah, it's just, it's just the slide. See what I, mean? I can use a glass slide, probably. Um, here's a glass slide. Let me prop this up a little bit, or um, actually, I can get rid of the scene. Just go back to the big screen. Hollywood. I don't think Debbie would, but Hollywood. Okay, so <laughs> back to the big screen. Uh, Emerald Guitar is building Weisenborn and showing his process in carbon fiber. Interesting. Um, so, like, if I had a Weisenborn press. Yeah, so you know, would play it, you play it like on your lap overhand. The cool thing about the Weisenborn is that the neck has uh, it's it's as, is just as deep as the body of the guitar, and it's all hollow. So the neck actually helps uh, propel the sound forward. Keep in mind the Hawaiian or the uh, the uh, the dobros that have the cones in them. Uh, those were Hawaiian in origin too. It was like Hawaiian slack key guys that were playing them. And it was country guys that kind of took them over, but. But it's, it's because the action on this guitar is so low. Really hard to play slide on it that way. I can play slide better this way. Uh, because I'm I'm not resting my hand on top of the slide. I'm putting my hand inside. So I can kind of adjust the, the, the weight on the strings. So I'm tuned to open G. So basically if I play open, it's G. If I go to the fifth fret, it's C. Go to the the um, 
of the seventh fret, it's B, uh, e, D, sorry. And then if I go to the ninth fret, it's E major. So that's kind of where you get weird. It's like, I don't want E major. I want E minor because I'm in the key of G. Um, so you really almost have to miss that second string, which is where the major third is. Um, and that's part of the reason why when I play, I tend to, on my right hand, I tend to rest my fingers on all the strings and just pluck the strings I need. Um, but you know, if you have uh, so if you have a bass player and he's playing E, then you can go to a G chord and it ends up being like an E minor seven. Mm, oh, it's too low for me to sing, but uh, you get the idea. Um, now I'm gonna forget that I have this tune this way. Um, But you could take, you could easily take a like a cheap acoustic. Okay, I changed guitars again so you can touch your face. Um, so frustrating. So sorry. Oh, even the chat's jack. Not doing working right. Now on this guitar, because I have the strings are lifted, I have the lifter on here. You can see that um, that lifts the strings up off of the off of the fret, so so I can play, it. and it's got a, definitely a kind of a hollow woody sound. Playing a D minor is not difficult. It depends on what, you know, y you're going to have a hard time getting the sh the major chords. Um, the minor chords, you can always substitute major chords for. Major chords, you can substitute minor chords for too. Uh, so if you're playing in D minor and you wanted an F chord, you just play two of the, you know, the, the third and the um, fifth of the D minor chord and you get the root and third of the F major chord. So you can kind of imply like... For example, if I'm in here, I'm in G. If I want to apply an E minor, I can go up here and play B, um, the B and the E. I could also play, the, I could play the the G and the B, um, but the E is up here, so I can't get three notes on two different frets with a slide. Uh, but I can kind of imply the E minor with that, like this. But then I have to be careful not to hit that G sharp there. So, and there's the E there too. Oh, Leo, uh, it's question, Tom. When changing tunings back and forth on the same guitar, can I use this same guitar with a truss rod or? Uh, I don't think. I, oh, can I use the same guitar with a truss? I don't think you need to adjust the truss rod. I mean, if, it's one thing if you're going to leave the tuning that way for a long if that's you're going to make that guitar permanently a, a tuned guitar but if you're going back and forth now you don't need to change anything you just need to change the tuning uh you, no sense in that um if that was your question i think yeah i wish jerry douglas is the most amazing <laughs> I, uh, yeah, he can play scales so stinking fast. I don't know how, I mean, I've watched him do it. It's kind of one of those things where it's almost like watching a magician. It's sleight of hand, you, you know. It's like... I should just practice him. I can do, I like doing open ones. behind the nut. I like doing that. I'll get like, I can do. Not 
on tune though. But the um, uh, if you bend the second string with your, let's see, what am I using my my ring finger? Um, there we go. Um, this battery's almost dead too. Well, the slide's easier too. If you're if you're flat, it's a little harder because the strings are looser. I like. I mean, most people tune down for tuning, so like tune down to D and tune down to G. Uh, but you can also tune up to A and up to E. Uh, but you're more likely to break strings when you do that. But I do like a tighter string when I'm playing. So I'm using my ring finger to bend. Kind of get a pedal steel sound. Hard, hard to not bend that second string. Now I'm bending two strings. That's pretty crazy when I. It's not quite clean, but but what's amazing is that like if you can get it down. You're bending the 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 uh, first string up a whole step and the second string up a half step. So you're, so like in this case, I'm playing a D chord, D, A, D, F sharp, and A, and I'm bending the, the F sharp up to G by a half step, and I'm bending the, the A up to B uh, by whole step. Uh, and then, but ultimately what you're doing is you're creating a G chord. So you're going from D, uh, D to G. So you're like that chord, but it's super hard to do. Here we go. Uh, no, it's not a national. This is a Gretsch. You can get these pretty cheap. Uh, it's a Gretsch uh, Roots Collection Model G uh, 9220. I think they still sell them. Let me look and see. Um, I use this all the time. I actually have a National Duolian um, that's from 1929, but I prefer the sound of this one. Uh, it's probably, at the time I bought it, it was probably the most I'd ever spent on an instrument. I overpaid because it's still worth about what I paid for it back in the day. Um, it's not really gone up in value because it's not a tricone. The tricone ones are have, have appreciated, um, but not so much... Um, Let's see, Dobro, let's see if I can find this one. Gretsch, uh, yeah, box, well, mine's a 20, what did I say? 92, 20, uh, 90, yeah. Uh, 92, 20. See if they have this one. Yeah, so this one's not here anymore. What they said, I don't know what the difference is between this. Um, oh, this is a square neck. Here's a, so I had the round neck. Um, so here's one here. I'll give you a link so you can check it out. You don't, you don't need to buy it from this link, but I am sending you an Amazon link. Um, so this one's listed for $4.29, which is a great, I mean, I've made my money way back on this thing because I use it all the time. Well, and the cool thing is it has a pickup. So I could plug it in and create some pretty cool, um, let me do that. Oh, oh, come on, dang it. I should go wireless, <laughs> except I wouldn't want to change the batteries all the time. Man, we are not getting the stream. Mm. Wait, we recommend you use a what? We recommend that bit rate that you use a stream bit rate of, oh, well, I'm trying. <laughs> Jeez. Uh. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I mean, my bit right here is like 700, 600, 700. Like, it's fine for audio, but let me see if I can get, uh, let me do a little sound here. Um, channel, audio input two. So I like to do this kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. Um, let's see.
see if this works. So I'm, I'm running through a lot of reverb and delay and pedals and stuff like that. But And that's a little too much with a delay. Let me go with a clean, less delay sound. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. I mean, I'll use, uh, let's see, like, having fun with delays and reverbs and stuff but it's cool because it has a pickup in it so that's uh, I mean you have to check and see if that one has um, that particular model has um, effects in it um, I mean sorry not effects uh, a pickup in it let me check let me see if it says on that with fingerboard rose and blah 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 um. what uh I mean, where I have mine is, no, it looks like it's just a standard. So why did mine have come up? So that may be the, this is the 9200, mine was the 9220, so maybe that's the difference. The 9220 has uh, the, um, has the, has the pickup in it, which they don't have the 9220. Let me check on reverb and see if there's one on reverb. Um, because... Um, I, I like the I like having the the because because I can also do this. I mean, it actually doesn't sound the 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 you know the the. Um, let me see. I, I try to find one that's not like too gainy, but uh, let's see, not metal. <laughs> Maybe blues. Let's see what this sounds like. Ooh, sounds like it's gonna be loud. <laughs> That's really gainy. I wouldn't use that much gain on something like this. Uh, I can definitely pull. Oh, there I can pull that down. I um, mean, there's no volume knob on or anything like that. You're just—it's a transducer pickup. So you're just—you're just getting whatever sound you get out of it. But you can mess around with amps and get something pretty cool out of it. Um, and I've done that on uh, on uh, for TV shows and things like that. Totally use this a lot for that. It, in fact, I'll probably be using it this week on some stuff. Um, okay. Well, now it's saying excellent condition again, but I'm not believing it. It's like crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's the delay that's basically in uh, in Logic. Oh, I was going to look up and see if you could find one on Reverb. Sorry about that. Gretsch 9220, I think. Gretsch. I always forget how to spell Gretsch. you got to think Gretsch. Like Eden Gretz G E G R E T S, like a plural, and then add a C H. I don't know. Ninety-two twenty. Come on. Um, well, here's one for oh five thirty-nine. Interesting. It says 
Vintage Sunburst Demo. Yeah, that's kind of what this is. Oh, there's a bunch of them here, but yeah, five, five, six hundred bucks. So it's a little bit more than I thought. I'm sure I got mine when they first came out. Because I just picked it, I just sat down at Guitar Center and started playing it. And what it the thing is, it's it's a uh, round neck. Okay, so if you're going to buy a Dobro, make sure you, especially online, a square neck might not even have frets. So I bought a round neck because I already had a square neck and you can't, my square neck had frets, but if I wanted to play it like a dobro instead of, I mean, like a resonated guitar instead of a dobro, um, and I think that's the difference. Um, don't quote me on this, but I think the difference between a resonator and, um, yeah, Jan, I'm sorry, it's, it's erratic for everybody. So right now, the audio is the only thing we're working with. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but the, um, so I think a resonator is typically played, um, is a round neck, okay, and is uh, is played like a guitar, you know, and it, it's really cool sounding. So I, I really like playing this like that as well. <clears throat> but I like playing. I have more need for for slide instruments. So um, so I just bought for three dollars. I think you can get this little string lifter, and so I can turn this into a basically what would amount to a square neck, because a square neck will literally have a square neck, and it's really you couldn't fret it like this. You're gonna you're, the whole intent is you're going to play it overhand with a slide, okay? So Dobros, I think, are generally square necks, um, or they may just say square neck Dobro versus a round neck Dobro. If it's round neck, it's intended to be played like this. If it's square neck, it's intended to be played like this. Um, but the beauty of um, having the string lifter for like three bucks is that I can take a round neck and turn it into a square neck, essentially, or a, a resonator and turn it into a Dobro. <laughs> Just goofing around, <laughs> yeah. From dusk till dawn, exactly. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, it's it's cool. You can get. I mean, I could build a whole song around that for a TV show, um, or a whole scene. Um, it's it's a it's 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 a lot of fun. And you know, like I said, the the, um, the instrument. Uh, oh, okay. The um, you want to make sure that you're getting, if you're going to buy something like this online, you want to make sure you're getting the right one. Uh, so you want to make sure, and if you want a square neck, that's totally fine. Um, but, uh, uh, but, um, <clears throat> anyway, you definitely, you know, it's definitely a fun toy to have around. And like I said, this can be played like a guitar if I took this out. Okay. Uh, dad Gad? Yeah, you can do Dad Gad on slide. I wouldn't probably play slide Dad Gad. One thing I might do, though, check this out. I like this. I'll go back to... Um, let me go back to a cleaner sound, though. <laughs> as much as I like that sound, it's not going to work for this concept thing here. I will do um, sometimes, I haven't done it a lot, I haven't really experimented with it, um, but you remember what I said about playing minor chords, it's very frustrating to play minor chords. Um, and you could maybe, you ask, somebody asked me about, uh, I forget, was it, uh, Andrew asked me about playing in open D minor on it, maybe, but that third string is kind of hard to bend because it's a wound string. Um, so, I don't need a compressor. So, but what I might do is I might, instead of tuning to open G, and this has, we're not talking at all about 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about the streaming issues, the buffering crap. Um, but uh, we're not talking at all about 6-8. But anyway, if it's working tomorrow, we'll, we'll pick it up tomorrow. Um, so I might, instead of having it tuned to open G, so it's D, G, D, G, B, D, I might tune that B note down to A, okay? So that ends up being a, what I would call a G2 or a G add 9 tuning. And the reason is, the cool thing about it now, it would be hard to tune. So there's G, so I have to do that to get a G chord. There's C2, but if I go, I can get C major if I bend the uh, B string up a whole step. Right, and D major do the same thing. And then if I go up now, I can get E minor. Bend now, bend a half step though. having a B bender on, um, but you said, it said it's your, it's your second finger. Um, oh, they still have it hook. Okay. That's good. So it's 600 bucks. This one is 600 bucks. I don't think I paid 600 bucks for this. I probably got it for like four, four fifty, maybe 500. So, uh, maybe not too far from that. They, I'm sure they, cause but I've had this for quite a while. I'm sure they've raised the price, but it's a decent sounding instrument. I like it acoustically. I mean, because of the wood body, the, the, my, my Dobro is steel body, and it's, it's very, very rattly, very honky sounding. It sounds like a beer commercial, so it's kind of perfect in that regard, but it, it didn't sound like, um, uh, who was the guy we talked about before you mentioned? Um, shoot, you said it, his name, he's such a great Dobro player. It's one of those guys. Oh, Jerry Douglas. Yeah. So it sounds like Jerry Douglas. It sounds more like Jerry Douglas. Obviously not his. And these can get it pricey too. You know, if you get the really nice ones, you can spend a lot of money. Uh, but And it's strung with acoustic guitar strings, basically. So the, the third string is wound. did it more I'd probably get better at it it's a little tough to and also the other thing is I don't have a callus here I'm afraid I'm gonna cut my finger right there which would be a drag um, almost want to wear something there if I'm gonna if I were gonna do this a lot I think I'd be I don't know I also wouldn't want the old rusty string I might go with a heavier gauge though so so it's not so sharp but sliding it up with the finger there is really dangerous yeah, his main axe is square because he plays slide. Yep, and he and he wears it standing up. You know, he's got the strap and everything. And you can do that with this. I think there's no. You'd have to tie it on. Uh, but there's a strap pin here that the cord is plugged into. So you'd have that one side covered, but um, I think I've seen it with the strap going down to the headstock, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> the delay makes you pay for mistakes. <laughs> I guess that's a sip because I didn't realize I was in that tuning for a second. Mm. 
And double players tend to play, like the legit guys, tend not to play an open G, not like that. So way, the way I'm tuned, the way I'm tuned now is um, D, G, D, G, B, D. I just put it back, so that's what that is. But dobro players tend to go G, B, D, G, B, D, like that. Could have slow. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, touching my nose. Hey, Kathy, sorry, we're still buffering over here. Um, and I don't have any viewers. It's gonna be pretty low analytics on this one. Oh my gosh. Well, and I don't know if I can leave it up because it's just so bad. I'm gonna have to go check it out when it's done processing because people are gonna watch it and they're gonna be like disappointed. Of course, at least I'm saying, Dotted eights. Let's see what that sounds like. stuff up.
<laughs> I have no idea. I'm just messing around. <laughs> All right. What's that now? You're streaming okay in Kansas? What? <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm sure people logged in and, and it's like, AJ, yeah, it's, it's just because the, the stream has been so janky. It's still, I, it's, I don't know what's going on. It's saying dropped frames. 78% of my frames have been dropped. <laughs> so that's just not good. That's horrible. It's like ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. I don't, uh, you know, my, I noticed that the stream, the, the, the live chat wasn't great. Now that's a that was a dotted eight delay in six eight, uh, and I had the basically the re, uh, the delays at fifty percent. So you're hearing a lot of delay. Now you're hearing a lot less delay. Um, oh. Uh, thing too is a lot of do, do, most over players use picks which is a little tougher to mute strings when you got picks on which is how I kind of play um, and I found my metal thumb picks which is nice um, much more metallic sounding <laughs> my forte <laughs> welcome nacho oh my gosh this is not my normal live stream I, i'm so bummed that this is not working it says excellent connection at youtube but uh but i'm not believing it because it's it's been my my image my view my screenshot of what you guys are seeing right now is a frozen image from about an hour ago so i know you guys are getting some kind of crazy uh, really bad um, uh, buffering thing. Okay, hold on. Dang it. I keep going to the wrong. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's a fun fun instrument. Yeah, so so uh, who, somebody said that they still sell them at the Gretsch uh, website, which is great. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's not like, it's pretty solid quality. I like it. Like I said, I like the sound acoustically. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if it were laminated and, you know, it's not like a solid, solid mahogany or anything like that. So it's pretty light. Um, I do like the headstock though. I kind of like that pearl vibe. That's kind of a cool old school vibe, right? So anyway, anywho. Okay, you can take a sip because I'm changing guitars. Uh-oh, what's this? You remember this one, right? <laughs> so we're not doing a lesson today. It just me just... So this is a... Uh... This is my cluster guitar. So it's all, it's six, whatever I want to tune it to. Right now they're tuned to C's, I believe. So six E strings tuned to C.
Now, I've never made a guitar from a kit. I bought a kit guitar from somebody um, that had a, it was custom made. It was pretty cool. Um, it didn't, the neck was awful. I wish they'd had a better neck on it, but I, I needed a guitar desperately. I didn't have any money. So it, my, my main ax got stolen at a club and I had to buy this garbage, you know, kit guitar that somebody had made. I think it was $200 and it was all I had. Uh, basically it was my rent money. Somehow I managed to pay rent that month. Um, yeah, it's a drag when you've got like a nice Strat, a vintage Strat, and it gets stolen at a nightclub. When you walk away from it for one minute, I mean, I was just, and I filed a police report and the, the club wouldn't do anything. And, um, you know, it's just the guy, whoever stole it, watched me play it on stage. And then I set it to the side of the stage. And while we were, I was helping the drummers and the drummer and, and everybody pack up and everything. I walked over there, it was gone. It's like the worst. And, the, and I, I've told you the story before. It was, it, the guitar had bo belonged to Caleb Quay, was the guitar player for Elton John. And when I finally met Caleb years later, he said, you don't, wanna, you don't want me to tell you what records I played that guitar on? I said, no, I don't want to know. And the crazy thing is that the, uh, whoever stole it has no idea, has no idea uh, what, um, what that guitar was played on. So it's really sad when things like that get stolen, their legacy disappears. So, all right, I'm going to sign off uh, because I'm a little frustrated with this whole internet thing. And I mean, I rebooted everything when I redid this. So, I mean, I turned off the computer, I did everything, except I didn't go and reboot the internet. So that, it could be that. So again, it's telling me excellent condition, but I'm not believing it. So, uh, yeah, it's so true. It's like the worst. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, <laughs> the, the, the be, having something stolen like that, you know, and I probably had stuff stolen that I didn't know was stolen. Like there's, you know, for all I know, you know, people take stuff all the time from like the garage or whatever. Um, and you're like, oh, what did I, I thought I had a something or, you know, uh, but when you leave them outside, you kind of, ex, you know, almost half expect that. Uh, but, you know, when you're playing at a club and you finish your set and you walk off stage and you come back to get your gear and it's gone, that's, that's not something you expect. And so I've consequently been a lot more cautious. But boy, I tell you, that happened 35 years ago, 36 years ago. And uh, it affects me still to this day. So that's, that's the gift that keeps giving. So hopefully, Keith, everybody, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, hope Yeah, we'll... Uh, I was just messing around. <laughs> I could have just done some writing. You could have been, because I'm working on like some drone. I need to do some of these things here. And so I was working on that and I'm like, okay, I need to, I need to work. Um, I've got deadlines and stuff. So um, I was doing, you know, some weird kind of weird sound stuff like that to soundscape background stuff for a TV show. Um, <laughs> I, I think you guys would probably even just like watching me work on that. But I'd rather have it from a different perspective. I'd rather have a camera to my right or something so that you guys could see what I'm doing and I can describe what I'm doing. I may do that at some point. In fact, I may do that in, in, uh, in one of my, you know, I can talk about writing, um, uh, but that would have a smaller uh, interest. But I think you, some of you would be interested to see what I do when I'm doing that kind of stuff. So, um, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'm put, I'll put in a yeoman's effort. <laughs> so, and I'm wearing the SC shirt because my son graduates from SC today. Very, very proud of him and, or my second son. And, uh, and both of my kids, all three of my kids are out of college now, which means I get a pay raise, which is nice. And uh, the plan is, uh, we'll see. I'm hoping <laughs> I want to go to Europe soon. But unfortunately, that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Dang, not this year anyway. I was, well, I was already planning a trip. I hadn't bought tickets, but I wanted to go. Uh, actually, next, early next year, I may be going to London for work. And so I'll probably hang there for a while. Hopefully go hang out with Cruz and teach him a guitar lesson or something. Smoke. Yep. 
Smoke comes out of the ears, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thanks, thanks guys. Uh, I will be, uh, I will see you soon tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I don't know, should I do a test maybe before? We'll see. But, but bye, Diane. Sorry, you didn't get really a, a story, but uh, uh, we'll talk. And I want to continue this six eight thing. I want to do the um, uh, the next uh, set of grooves. Okay. God bless you guys. Talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Appreciate you all. Okay. Bye-bye.